Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name is Julie. I'm going to do a Zodiac energy reading for you, Capricorn, for the week of May 29th. So let's see what's going on with Capricorn. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, Capricorn, if you like this video. I am a Capricorn moon, so let's see what is going on with Capricorn. Confidence is your key to success here, Capricorn. So get your confidence up. Whatever you are doing right now, you just need to get some confidence up in it. Get some, get your self-esteem back here and, and really uh, get this done. Ooh, I thought that was a butterfly that wanted to pull out there. The peacock. So yeah, you are getting your self-confidence up here. You are um, trying to anyway. And the elk who is very strong and very self-confident. So two cards that just really scream self-confidence here. And strut your stuff. You really do. You need to. And the gazelle. So you're feeling a little nervous about that. You're not used to doing that. You're very grounded, Capricorn. And you're very... Um, ugh, I don't know. You're just solid. You don't like to to uh, crow like the peacock. You don't like to show those feathers of yours, even though they're so beautiful. It just makes you uncomfortable as, a, as the earth sign that you are. Got a tarot card for you. Eight of water, so you are walking away from some stress here. Eight of earth, two eights, and the four of fire, the four of wands. So yeah, you are really walking away from stress and self-doubt and worry and Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. That's beautiful, Capricorn. So you're on your way to some true happiness here, some true abundance that you so greatly deserve. You've been beat up. <coughs> Everyone has, excuse me. And so now you're just, ooh, the lovers wanted to pop out there. Let's see if they come back out. Yeah, look how stressful it's been there, Capricorn. A lot of competition around you, so I could see why your confidence got dented just a little bit. A lot of competition, a lot of people trying to make you feel smaller, make you feel um, less than. Get a few more cards for Capricorn. Star wanted to come out there, so you are healing. You're healing from some deception here. Somebody tried to fool a Capricorn. Tried to compete with you. Tried to make you feel smaller than you are. To make themselves feel larger. Queen of Wands comes out in your subconscious, so that is all about self-confidence and self-worth. Let's see how you're feeling about yourself here. The magician. So you are manifesting a new you, a new way, a new way of being, a new path. There's that star, so you're healing all of that, all of that sadness, all of that stress. See the Ten of Wands wanted to pop out, did it? Maybe not. Let's see if it comes. Oh yeah, it did. Walking away from those burdens. You're wanting to walk away from it. Just let it go. One more for Capricorn. One more. Yes, finding your heart's desire here, Capricorn. At the bottom of the deck, wishes fulfilled. The Nine of Cups pops out for you. So yeah, a lot of stress, a lot of competition, a lot of worry. Every time you tried to reach for your light, for your sunshine, somebody was pulling you back down, literally, just grabbing you by the, by the leg here, I can see it, <coughs> and pulling you back down that ladder. So you were reaching for either a promotion or a, a love relationship here or, or uh, money, whatever you were reaching for, you just kept getting pulled back down by the others around you. They didn't want to see you succeed because that meant that they weren't. So they were stuck in this survivor mentality that there can only be one. And you decided that you are the one. I'm going to rise above anyway. I'm a Capricorn and I can do this and I have the strength to do this. So you just kept reaching for your light here and good for you because all of these people really wanted to see you fail. They really wanted you to come down and uh, make them feel bigger. What is blocking you is the Page of Swords. So there's information that is coming into you, but it's just uh, Spirit is holding on to it right now. You're going to have this light bulb moment soon that gives you a lot of confidence, a lot of um, stability back. And um, But it's just not there right now. You just keep reaching for it, but you're walking this tightrope. You're trying to find the information, trying to find the news you needed to hear or the 
the uh, the compliments that you are so worthy of you know you're just trying to find that you're trying to find people who are like-minded and don't want to pull you down they want to they want to teamwork and gather together I feel like it was friends like you had frenemies that were trying to pull you down and you thought that they really cared about you but um, they only cared about themselves and so that really kind of dented your confidence here because now you're kind of unsure of who to trust what information to trust so when that information does come into you you're 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 leery of it you're thinking well uh, yeah but I trusted that person and they fooled me and they deceived me so um, it has to do with the people that you were surrounded with. I don't know if it was at a workplace or your friend group, but they were um, backstabbing you. They really were. They, they did not have your best interest at heart here, Capricorn. So you are, you know, you learned that. You did. That was a karmic lesson for you. And so it's, it's, it wasn't your fault. You, you just got caught up in what they were saying to you. They were saying what you wanted to hear. The moon is in the foundation here, so there were secrets here, there was deception here, there was cloudiness here, you felt like you were just swimming through murky waters and you couldn't see the light that you were so desperately reaching for. So um, these people deceived you and um, you learned that, you know, now you're never going to be deceived again. These are karmic lessons, these are life lessons that we all need to learn. So you won't get caught up in this deception again and just know that, just be mindful of what people are telling you you don't have to believe everything people are telling you you don't really usually do that as a capricorn but they had a way about them they had a style about them that really you resonated with and you just got caught up in it and then it kind of um it just kind of fell apart on you it just kind of fell apart on you it wasn't too dramatic it wasn't too you know somebody didn't just flat out lie to you or ghost you or anything like that that I can see but you just started figuring them out you just started seeing their true colors seeing their true colors with the peacock here and it just didn't sit well with you because you're just so grounded and so solid and so authentic they were not being authentic that's what it is here Queen of Wands is up in your subconscious here so you're just grabbing your fire back you're grabbing your power back you've got spirits help here with the black cat in that card Queen of Wands doesn't put up with anyone's bullshit so you just you you nipped this before it could get too far you really did you just kind of went yeah whatever and you walked away from it without being too hurt here which I love seeing you just really literally walked away with the eight of cups here so um, that just opened up everything for you and now you have this brand new bright future where you're the one strutting you're the one talking you're the one being authentically you and others are following that path they're following that way that you are being your authentic self so good for you Capricorn good for you that was that was a uh, wise decision king of wands in your future so there's somebody coming in who's very strong who's very passionate who's very fiery this is Leo energy this is spirit having your back as well too so they were urging you to see through that group's colors see through that person's colors and you did and you uh, you are the uh, leader now you are the one that people are following now because you just stood in your authentic self you just did it and that's that's exactly what we're supposed to do here we're supposed to just be our authentic selves and not try to change for other people not try to change our energies not try to wear too many hats when we walk in the room to just fit in you're not one to just try to fit in and so you didn't you just you just uh, stood in your authentic self in your authentic light and spirit is applauding you for that they really are they're congratulating you for standing in your true self so and now you're manifesting this new way, this new path. The Magician card is all about manifestation and physical manifestation as well as spiritual manifestation. So by you standing in your truth, by you standing in your own power, you are leading the way for others to not be deceived by, uh, by these energies around them. You know, that's what we need to do. We need to not just take in everything we're hearing and believe it. So you, you're not like that. You didn't, you learned from that. So you're not going to, you're not wearing your heart on your sleeve here. You're just manifesting this new path for you, this new way where you can just be you and you don't have to change for anybody and you know that. And so that's so beautiful. I love that. Others are seeing you healing from this too and really just connecting with spirit now. Now you're not connecting with those around you so much. You're connecting with spirit so that you can find your true path, your true self and your true colors. 
And um, that's what confidence is. It's just standing in our authentic selves. And you've done that. So that is just so beautiful. I really love this reading, Capricorn, because there's some kind of energy coming in to, to really, um, who's really authentically them as well. And the two of you are going to really resonate and really um, connect. And so you're like this power couple. I love that. Especially with the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands here. That's why I'm saying power couple ahead. Ten of Wands is you walking away, you setting down those burdens, you not changing for anyone, and Spirit congratulating you for that. You just packed your bags, you're like, I'm not going to play this game, I'm not going to change myself to make you happy. You know, it's like, it's like being selfish a little bit, but what's wrong with that? You know, what's wrong with being selfish? What's wrong with pleasing yourself instead of pleasing those around you? You know, the person that's calling you selfish is saying that because you're not pleasing them. You're not changing for them. So, yeah, be selfish. Be, be the peacock. Just strut your feathers and, and walk the walk. You walk the walk. You talk the talk. You walk the walk. And you prove that to others. And so that's very intimidating to others to have you just stand in your authentic self and not care. And so I love this. I, I really love this reading for you, Capricorn. Spirit is saying, yeah, this is your life. This is your path. This is your journey to have. So you follow your heart's desires. You do not have to just change like everyone is doing. Just be this snake that goes into every situation and, and says fake it to make it mentality. You know, you know, Capricorn is like, I'm going to learn it to earn it. And this is me and this is who I am. Love me or hate me. I don't care. And people really get intimidated by this kind of energy. But don't you let them intimidate you because you've got the power here. You've got the the answer to this you've got the answers and that is I am who I am and I don't care and so that's just gonna bring so many like-minded people towards you who are not gonna change just because they're in your presence or in someone else's presence they have the strength to be who they are to stand in their authentic true self and um, you guys are just this power couple you just this power couple whoever this is coming into you if you've met them already the two of you are unstoppable now because You've learned not to change for others. You've learned not to just give in or to keep the peace at all cost. There is a cost to keeping the peace, and, and the two of you understand that. The two of you realize that. So uh, power a couple ahead for Capricorn, and nobody's going to steal your fire. Nobody's going to ever rain on your parade again. And the two of you are unstoppable. You really are. There's no stopping this power couple here. And you're both just yourselves too. So you don't have to, at the end of the day, when you're sitting in the room together, you still are who you are. And you don't have to be exhausted from trying to be someone else. And neither are they. So that's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful, Capricorn. Let's see who this person is coming into Capricorn. I just want to see who that is. Seven of Wands. So it's somebody who, yeah, had to put up their boundaries, had to really stand in their true self just like you, and had to fight the good fight to stay in their power and stay in their strength here. So that was a lot of work for them. And who are these friends that you are walking kind of away from? The Empress, so Taurus energy here. So yeah, this is just independence. This is just, they didn't get you. They didn't get you. They didn't trap you into trying to change for them. So that's just beautiful. And is there anything else I want to clarify here? This is just so beautiful. What is the moon energy? Let's see what the moon energy is here. Feeling left out, feeling rejected, feeling um, really insecure about who you were and so that that friend group really taught you that that you don't have to be insecure you were living in lack and living in poverty mentality and you're just really walking away from that you really are and into your own true authentic self so beautiful Capricorn beautiful if you like this video don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and if you want a free private reading from me all you have to do is hit subscribe and put in the comment box that you've subscribed and I will enter you into my raffle, which I'm announcing here at the end of June. And I will send you a YouTube private link just like this, only catered to you and your questions. So I hope you join it. Thank you so much, Capricorn. I hope you have a great week. Till next time.